Hello, my name is Johan Tekeners. I work for Steltix. The last video I made, I presented the iPad enablement on Enterprise One. Today I will present Oracle Enterprise One, or what they call JDAPTS on a new 9.1 tools release. Oracle has come out with a whole new user interface for JDAPTS. And it contains many new features. I'm very excited actually that I can demo this new piece of technology. It's a huge improvement and I'm sure the end users are going to love this. Not only because it looks better, but because of all the new productivity features. I've seen many different ERP products. I also quickly installed SAP recently on my laptop. But this user interface is way ahead of any product I've seen. And I'm very positive it will be for at least another year. Um, I can't wait to start showing you all the new features. Uh, in this short session I can only show you a very limited amount of features. All right, let's log on to the system. You see the log on screen is already completely different. And here we go. Um, this is actually the screen where I left the system. So it actually remembers where you were in the system. Um, if you click the favorites bar or whatever. All right, now let's start some applications. From the old menu, you see it's, it's still there. Um, Comes receivable, daily processing, what we want to start. Why not the speed invoice entry? As you see, the screens, the fields are still at the same spot, the same location, but it looks so much better. Um, and it has many, many new features. Um, let's start, also start another app, B4210, a favorite sales application. Same story, it looks a lot better than it used to be, but everything is still in the same place and users who were used to work with, with uh, Jade Edwards can still do anything they like what they previously did. Um, let's start with the bar here below. This is what they call um, the carousel navigation. There's favorites. I've saved some favorites. You can easily add and remove favorites. There's uh, recent reports. I haven't run any reports. I will do that in a minute and open application. You see I can switch now between my two applications that I have opened up. Alright, let's start with some QBE features. The ones that I think are so powerful. Um, for example, I don't need to see this column. Let's hide it. And I don't need to see the ship to um, so you can easily hide columns. Of course, the find is still the same. Um, well, let's say I only work for or company um, one. Quickly do a lookup. Select order company one. You'll find only see order company one. But I only work for order company one, and the next time I start this application I want to see this view so there's the query feature which allows filtering so what I'm gonna do is say next time I wanna only want to see order type SO and uh, for order company 0001 I'll save it as my default oh, I didn't click default next time it's my default view close my app, close the screen, go back into P4210 and here you only see order company 1. Um, of course it's a very simple example I can think of many great features and, and users will love it. Um, one of the next things I'll quickly show you how the carousel works on UBEs. I like that so much. Uh, recent reports. There's no reports here. Let's do a quick and dirty report. Our uh, type ahead still works great. I love that feature also. Let's run a UBE. And you'll see the UBE will appear here. It's still blue, so it's it's not done. It's running. If you hover over it, you get all the details, what it's doing. I want to see if it's done already. Oh. Let's refresh it. Yes, it's done. Um, 
Let's submit another UBE R zero fourteen zero twenty one. And the same thing appears next to it. It's still running, um, and it will turn green if we're done. It's probably yeah. You have to refresh it. It goes so quick. These kind of reports. I, I also noticed that the whole um, building up of reports has been re-implemented uh, in a new tools release, and it works so much faster. Um, well, the great things of the carousel also. You know, it's here. Um, if I want to use the space on my screen, I can even close it, I can reopen it, or if I want it on the left, have more space here below, um, or you can even move it to the right, whatever, you, wherever you like it. So your screen is completely customizable. And one of the great things is that the next time you log on, it's still there. Um, also, I want to show you, it still works on the iPad, and I'll just quickly show you. Um, some of the awesome features. As you see, here's the iPad back again. Uh, let's open up a new tab with AdWords. Log in. And we, I just logged off from, from my laptop, went back on the iPad, and as you see, it kept my session. Um, the navigation carousel is still on the right. Of course, we have the swipes because we don't have a menu. Well, we just move it to the bottom and all my settings user interface is so intelligent nowadays P4210 and everything is still there um, still see order company 0001 query is default um, um, all the gestures still work let's tap here with two fingers on the form and the form exit should open up let's do the sales header browse um, when I do a, a find everything still there you can do more details here oh, of course the screen is not big enough but it gives you more results um, so all the gestures everything is still there um, so you're completely flexible within the supported uh, browsers which is nowadays uh, Firefox uh, Internet Explorer and of course um, the iPad. I also try even tried it on my uh, my iPhone. It works perfectly fine. Uh, just the screen is is not big enough. I guess that's the reason why they don't support it. But it it, it does work perfectly fine. Of course, a YouTube demo is great, but there's more. I made a hands-on experience available, so you can discover the new features yourself. I prepared a demo system, which is available to everyone. The data in this demo will be refreshed every morning at 1 a.m. CET. This demo system is planned to be available online until January 15, 2012. After that date, please contact us to get access. You can also use this demo from your iPad and I also found that it works from my iPhone. Please be aware that this is just a small demo server that cannot handle hundreds of users. The URL is http colon slash slash tools91.stelltix.com slash jde. So don't forget to put the jde behind it. Username demo, password demo. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or would like to have more information, please contact us at http colon slash slash www.stelltix.com slash contact or send an email to info at stealthics.com. We would be more than happy to come and give you an on-site demo or even deliver this software update to your system so you and your company can be more productive with Oracle Enterprise One. Thank you very much.